With her due date rapidly approaching, fans of Isabel Roloff are growing concerned by her lack of updates. The LPBW star had seemingly disappeared from social media since the middle of November, when before she would post nearly daily check-ins of her life. But on Monday, November 23rd, the mom to be finally shared some new news. She explained, Been a little bit quiet because we have been going through a lot. I know I'll look back on this time and be reminded of our strength, faith and deep love for each other. Things have been a little hard lately, but focusing on all the love surrounding us, I feel so much peace that everything is going to be okay. Fans were quick to question what exactly has been so hard and offered their own blessings. One person wrote, I'm sending positive vibes, love, light and prayers to you and yours. Another added a mantra, I am calm, I am strong, I am centered and I am peaceful. I am able to let go of fear and trust that I am eternally safe. Sending big, big love, sister, you are divinely protected, all is well. A third said she can't wait for the newborn, praying for you both on a nice healthy bundle of joy and a speedy recovery from birth. And another shared words from a classical singer, every little thing's gonna be alright, like Bob Marley says. This isn't the first time Isabel has caused fans to worry about her upcoming birth, previously admitting to feeling a sense of anxiety as the due date approaches. On Friday, November 12th, the 25-year-old shared a video of husband Jacob's hand in her hand resting on her baby bump as their unborn child kicked. Alongside the video, the LPBW alum wrote, Feeling our first baby move together, moving through so much these last few weeks. I have anxiety, but ultimately it's a good test for me to see how far I can be pushed, how much I can believe in myself and how much I have grown. Pregnancy fears and problems seem to be running throughout the Roloff families. Sister-in-law Audrey Roloff admitted she's hurting and crying tears of pain days after giving birth to her third child and newborn son Radley. The new mom vulnerably opened up about her pain and exhaustion in a tell-all post discussing her postpartum experience on Instagram. She captioned the first photograph, indicating that the photograph was taken two days postpartum. Maybe it will be different this time. Maybe I'll get through the first week of recovery without that dreaded M-word. I didn't tear as bad. I didn't hemorrhage this time. Audrey left no detail of her experience out for her fans and continued. My birth experience was so beautiful and peaceful and empowering. Those first days postpartum I was so encouraged. However, Audrey expressed that on her third day postpartum, her pain took a turn for the worst. The mother of now three posted a photograph of her nose red and blotchy as she looked completely exhausted lying in bed. She continued her long post reminding fans that there is more to giving birth than the cute baby photos. This is what you hardly ever see on the other side of the screen, an overflowing postpartum nightstand with a very tired, hurting, recovering mama, tears of joy as she swoons over her newborn baby and tears of pain as she aches in too many places to count. In March, Tori Roloff revealed she suffered a miscarriage eight weeks into what was then her third pregnancy. In an emotional Instagram post, she explained, We were so excited to share some exciting news this week. We were so excited when we found out we were expecting baby number three and we couldn't wait to share. We went in for our first ultrasound at eight weeks and found out that we lost our sweet baby two weeks earlier. I've honestly never felt lost like I did in that moment. I've never felt so sad, angry and scared in a single moment. I had no symptoms of losing our sweet angel baby and nothing could have prepared me for hearing our sweet baby was gone. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.